Hi everyone, welcome to my re-review of M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense um, in 1999. Um, so yes, back again, um, this time with a re-review, and you may be thinking, uh, why is he doing this? You know, The Sixth Sense, he already kind of fairly recently reviewed this film, and uh, yeah, you know, of course, I, I, I reviewed it back in November, um, or December, I believe, um, you know, that's when I started uh, watching these, uh, for the first time ever, actually, all of his films, um, pretty much in in exact order, um, chronologically of course, um, excluding, you know, uh, the ones before The Sixth Sense, um, but, you know, I actually went through this whole filmography, which I had never done before, um, you know, it was kind of over the course of November, December, uh, a little bit of January, um, ending with Split, and then back again, of course, uh, with Glass, you know, once that came out on Blu-ray, uh, 4K, I have it here, of course, um, the 4K one, uh, check out my review of that if you want to know my thoughts, but I think it's a very good film, and uh, a number, this is one of the reasons, actually, why I am now reviewing The Sixth Sense, um, so yes, you know, again, because, you know, a number of reasons uh, that I'm reviewing this film, and of course, be warned, it's a spoilers review this time, uh, you know, kind of full-on spoilers, uh, certainly at least more spoilers than last time, I'm not sure what I, exactly I said in that, but I did give minor spoilers possibly, uh, but of course, at least one of the twists um, is big, big uh, stuff, of course, it's well known, but, but, you know, there's actually some other things I do want to get into quite detailed, so if you've not seen the film, Either watch it, of course, um, I recommend it, um, and then come back to it, or just, um, you know, be warned, um, you know, that I you know, that I will be uh, talking about these. Um, but yes, um, a number of reasons for re-reviewing this. One, um, because, you know, since Glass, while I think it's a very good film, uh, I did want to actually re-watch my favourites, um, you know, Shamana, before the ranking, um, to get the exact, precise order in, because uh, believe it or not, I was kind of still struggling, and maybe it's not quite exact yet, and it could be another month or so before I give this ranking, uh, you know, from this review upload time. Um, but yes, you know, it's a fact that some of these like The Village and Signs and uh, this film as well um, were kind of a bit up in the air, you know, my, my order in Unbreakable as well, I'm not going to reveal, but, you know, it's very, very close to me. I'm not someone who just, you know, and, and, and you know, it's, I'm not judging anyone, but I'm not someone who just says The Sixth Sense is his only great, great film. Um, I think he's made five masterpieces, um, you know, The Village um, included. Uh, actually, so yeah, you know, very controversial, but it's my opinion. Um, so it's not it's not just a instant, you know, either Unbreakable or, or The Sixth Sense. Maybe some people say Science. It's not that. It's very, very close to me. Um, that's one of the reasons. Secondly, um, you know, to kind of end uh, this kind of full-on, uh, you know, review of all these films, really, um, on high notes, uh, with respect, as I say, I think very good uh, for, for Glass, uh, very good outing, but these are the ones, you know, these original kind of original main four films that I wanted to go back and watch. I watched The Village again uh, recently, uh, a month ago. I watched Signs again, um, believe it or not, you know, I've not really mentioned that, I've not re-reviewed them, but I have have done this, um, and I'm kind of becoming more of a formation on my list, uh, and I'm actually gonna uh, re-watch Unbreakable again, um, yeah, probably next Friday, actually, or this coming Friday. So yes, um, that is the reason, and also one last reason is because um, maybe I was a bit hesitant back in November, uh, slash December, Last year, you know, of this, um, you know, the ratings I give uh, to certain films, because whether I was deciding whether or not, um, you know, my highest rating, for example, um, you know, you know, the more and more films you know, get into this, does it devalue some of these, you know, these films? Uh, does it make it less of a, an event to get, you know, for example, the tier S? Um, and actually, I think the more important thing is um, to go with my gut on this and just the individual film doesn't deserve my highest rating uh, in terms of how much it means to me or how I'm, you know, just in terms of cinema, how, how I am uh, transported to a world or, or moved or, you know, just how much a film means to me, how much I care about a film, uh, you know. So, yes, on that value, I think, you know, and I did kind of originally think, is The Sixth Sense, you know, is it this um, or is it just, you know, just a bit under... And this, and what I gave originally, of course, was a tier one, um, and that's all I was saying until the end of the review. We'll talk about the sixth sense uh, once again. Um, so yes, you know this film, you know, and originally science was my favourite um, Shyamalan film as a kid, um, you know, and this was the one that I, of course, instantly when I saw it, um, I loved it and I understood it. Um, at least I thought I understood all of it, um, you yeah, know, kind of thing. But you know, it turns out actually, we'll get to that um, in, in, in a few minutes, but there's some things in the film that people aren't actually sure on, um, and I always thought, I, th I thought this was the case, but um, so that's interesting, well, we'll talk on that, but but yes, you know, this film, it's just, um, it's grown on me more and more, um, certainly over the last five or so years, as I've said in my, my previous review, 
this film, um, you know, I loved it, um, but I always kind of admittedly preferred Signs. Um, that appealed to me a bit more um, than this uh, when I was younger. Um, and I don't think it's the first one I saw, along with The Village, um, you know, these two films. Um, so, but yes, you know, this one has just, um, well, they've all grown on me, um, you know, and Breakable as well on the rewatches, uh, you know, uh, but they've all grown on me, but The Sixth Sense has, has really um, had a special kind of um, transformation um, in, in my love for the film, actually, my connection to it. And, uh, you know, we'll say it now, um, you know, before the ranking even, because it's going to be pretty obvious, um, you know, what my number spot, number one spot is, um, and that is, you know, certainly um, in these last few years, and I can safely say it now, um, the Sixth Sense is my personal pick um, for the greatest Shyamalan film, and people will be, you know, of course you'll be thinking, yeah, of course, but not for me personally, you know, um, I, I did always struggle actually, um, you know, with this, this number one spot, but I think The Sixth Sense um, is, is definitely my favourite, um, I can say that, um, and what a film, what a wonderful, wonderful film, um, this really is one of the most life-changing uh, experiences that I've had, um, it's a film, it's a love ghost story really, um, also a kind of, um, you know, it's a, it's a many, many things, this film, uh, it's not, you know, it's not just all it seems, and it's not just for the, that single twist, there's more to it, um, of course, and it's this friendship, uh, this beautiful, beautiful friendship, one of the best, you know, kind of examples of this, the most wonderful friendships um, in cinema, between Cole, um, of course, a young troubled boy, and uh, Malcolm Crow, who's a, a child psychologist, um, and uh, yes, it's, it's, the, it's the friendship, and it's also a kind of... Um, you know, exploring families, um, it's just, it's a beautiful film, uh, there's so much in this, um, you know, it's a tale of redemption, um, of moving on, um, as well, you know, this, this, as I say, this friendship, and, um, a father, father-son, in a way, kind of, um, with these two characters, um, and also, you know, mother-son with, um, with Lynn, um, played by Tony Collette, absolutely wonderfully, um, you know, this film, it's just got so much in it, and, um, you know, it's just, I think it's just, um, you know, for me, the most emotional um, Shyamalan film. Why I think The Village at times comes close in different ways, actually, you know, the, the emotions it stirs up, um, you know, maybe pure romantic and, and kind of uh, things to do with society and, uh, you know, the tragedy of it, but also the kind of things I relate to in that film, uh, you know, with the twist in particular. Um, but, but yes, you know, and science is kind of just this purely more uplifting experience, uh, you know, and to be dealing with faith uh, in a different way. But this one, um, I think, you know, overall, consistently, that's the key, um, you know, the emotions are just constant and, and they're a bit, bit higher for me um, in terms of just the pure, you know, the way it makes me, you know, it moves me, it makes me cry at times, so many moments, um, even early on, you know, it's just, because, I, you know, you know what's going to happen, um, you know this film and what it means, and uh, the more and more you watch it, the more it becomes um, both a tragedy, but also, you know, a beautiful uplifting, hopeful um, kind of film uh, where, where two lives in particular um, are kind of, you know, improved. Um, and, you know, for example, Bruce Willis, um, which for me, you know, this film, um, as much as he is just, you know, legendary and diehard, um, you know, that's the only one that kind of comes close in a different way. Um, the performance in this, I do think, is his best performance. Um, I really do, actually. And he's so great in so many films. He's a legend, um, a legendary guy. Um, say what you want, you know, about him now, uh, kind of thing, you know, recently and stuff. But I, I always support this guy. I think he's wonderful. And uh, he can do anything, um, as proven. But this film, for me, is just the best for me um, performance. It's the warmest, uh, the most human performance. And uh, just the range of emotions, uh, you know, especially, you know, for example, the final scenes. Wow. Um, and he plays, of course, Malcolm. And um, as we know, you know, he... He, he wants to help this kid, Cole, um, he, you know, it's his next, um, next one on his list, um, you know, on this, gets the case file, and, um, you know, you see a kind of, um, prologue, as we know, um, where Bruce Willis's character, Malcolm, gets shot, um, you know, of course, tragically, uh, by one of his past patients, um, and, you know, this is a very, very interesting, you know, straight away, of course, uh, it's a film that, where the narrative is just so invested, I feel, um, you know, this opening is perfect um, and setting up the film. And, you know, then then we kind of get lulled into this, um, you know, very, very relaxed kind of, um, you know, patient, uh, you know, first sort of half an hour or so, um, where you just see this very, very subtly uh, and really, really wonderfully, this relationship develop. You learn more about Cole, um, very mysterious film first, um, and, um, you know, you kind of, 
you get to you get to know this character of Cole, who's just um, you know very he's got anxiety, of course. Um, he's isolated. Um, he gets bullied, and you know that's one of the things that this film um, does better than most films um, is the way it explores bullying and um, you know these, these issues um, and how this affects um, you know especially a child. Um, it, it's something that's truly truly profound actually, and just. The way this is explored in the film um, could not have been better. You know, this is just so moving. Um, you know, so so sad, of course, to see. Um, but of course, you know, you learn um, as we know. You know, kind of halfway point, you do learn that this this kid um, sees ghosts, of course, um, with a very very famous twist. Um, now that twist um, or reveal, perhaps, um, you know, more about the character it is more than that. You know, and some people. Um, and it, it's kind of amb ambiguous, you could say, because it's very split, but I think Shyamalan has actually confirmed as well um, that yes, you know, Cole does know um, that Malcolm is a ghost, um, you know, because when you really think about it, actually, um, you know, and, and, and what I'm saying is it's a double twist kind of thing, there's more to it than just um, Cole sees dead people, you know, it's kind of um, as well at the same time, um, you know, taking everything into account, the camera zoom and everything, um, it is as well the fact that, that Malcolm is one of these ghosts um, that Cole is seeing. And Cole knows this, um, but it's just the case that, you know, and then the fact that he says, um, you know, that they, they see what they want to see, uh, these ghosts, um, it's just another case of, of Malcolm not quite, um, you know, kind of admitting or, or you know, kind of um, realising that he is, he is something, you know, he's dead. Um, and of course the way the camera zooms, um, and the fact you think every single ghost in this film um, Cole sees, you know, for example, their wounds. Um, Malcolm had um, a bullet hole. Of course, um, you know, in his stomach, and uh, you know, you know, when he sees that at the end, he finally, he finally, you know, sees this. You know, um, instead of seeing what he wants to see, um, you know, this is when it becomes clear that surely Cole would have seen this as well um, the whole time. You know, he would have seen the wound. He would have known he was a ghost. And uh, just the cases as well. You know, at the beginning, when uh, he's kind of very, very scared, um, and of course. The genius thing with Shyamalan, what he does is, you know, it could just be this kid's anxiety and stuff, uh, and he's not quite opening up, of course, to, to most people, um, not even his mother, of course. Um, so it's kind of, it, it plays with you a little bit here, but I do think, um, for the record, that he does know he's dead. Um, it's just the case that finally at the end, um, you know, once this has come full circle, that's when Bruce Willis, um, you know, his character of Malcolm, fully realises um, that he is dead. Um, but, but yes, I think Cole did know that's for the record there, you know, to clear that up. Um, and this, you know, in that sense, the writing in this film, the layers to it, it's just genius, it really is. And uh, there's just, for me, one of the best scripts in cinema and uh, one of the best reveals, um, no doubt, you know, this is for me the best um, written Shyamalan film. And uh, he's done so much great films, um, you know, in terms of his writing um, and just, I think this one take, takes the cake, it really does, um, the way these characters are developed, of course, as we know, um, and just just the the emotion um, and the layers and the humanity to the characters. Um, this is absolutely wonderful, and um, you know it's got it's got a great comedy to the film as well. Um, never breaking the tone, um, you know, so organic. Um, I I always just take note of just the wonderful scenes where you know, for example, the magic trick. Um, it's just this that brings so much humanity, um, even more so, to the characters of Malcolm, for example. Um, just. One of the best characters in cinema for me, I, I think he's just uh, one of the best, he really is. What a wonderful, um, you know, friendship um, in this film, so warm and uh, just so, so powerful. And, uh, you know, Bruce Willis is just, he, he's never really been better for me. And, um, you know, Hayley Joel Osment um, is just, it gives one of the very, very best, uh, certainly child performances, but, but just performances, you know, um, just one of the best. I've ever seen um, the level of emotion to this and uh, the way he he plays, you know, kind of very uh, troubled kid, you know, it's a very hard performance to pull off, but he does it wonderfully and uh, Tony Collette, you know, very, very undervalued uh, perhaps, um, she is absolutely wonderful in the film, um, you know, this is very, very moving stuff, um, even just her character, um, you know, when she breaks down at moments in the film. This is something else, you know, it's something you can relate to, um, you know, seeing this parent um, and it's just the other key thing is, is the warmth they find, you know, he finds within this, just the mother and, uh, you know, the son, um, you know, and the husband and stuff, you know, not there. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that it's just mother and son and, um, you know, it really is such a tender and uh, wonderfully 
portrayed uh, relationship. Um, it really, really is, and uh, you know the way that she's looking out for this. She wants to know, um, you know, what is actually troubling uh, her son, and uh, you know that plays throughout the film. And finally, of course, um, she does believe him in the end uh, when he reveals about the the grandmother, uh, which is one of the best acted scenes um, for me in cinema. Um, I just think it is flawless. Uh, the scene in the car, um, just what a wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, scene, and uh, the way that that kind of fully develops um, these things at the end. You know, the way this film ends in the final act um, is just one of the best in cinema. Um, every single thread wraps up um, to kind of allow every single you know one of these three main characters actually um, you know kind of move on in some way accept something um, you know, you've got you've got Cole um, finally kind of fitting in but more uh, kind of uh, just feeling you know at peace and uh, you've got the mother as well um, fi finally finding uh, comfort and uh, not to worry too much anymore and of course you've got Malcolm who finally um, as we know in the final scene uh, he moves on. He realizes he is, he is um, you know, he, he is a, he is a ghost, and um, of course, he also, um, you know, finally realizes that he's done what he set out to do. Uh, he had to help. He had to help someone, and uh, he moves on. Of course, um, one of the best final uh, kind of sequences in cinema for me. It's just um, one of the the most wonderful moments in cinema, and the final shots really, you know, when we kind of it fades his face. Um, just just passes on it's a beautiful spiritual moment um, that you know it's just it's just one of the very best moments I've ever seen I think just the wonderful way in which as well you know this film particularly shows um, how people can you know show kindness to one another um, you know it really is um, something else um, the way the way that these two characters help each other out you know throughout the film uh, is something really really profound and um, you know it's not just Bruce Willis um, this character of Malcolm who who kind of um, you know offers is uh, he's helped this kid. Um, it's kind of a beautiful kind of um, both way kind of thing um, where you know Cole is someone who who helps uh, you know Malcolm realize things and uh, eventually be able to move on. Um, this is a truly truly wonderful film in the way that it does this and uh, the way it just it shows um, so much you know humanity and uh, it speaks to me and just you know the way this is just so sincere. This is a film that. You know, it's not just uh, genius in its script and everything. It's it's the way as well. The combined with this, it shows it shows many things in a sincere way. And um, you know, it's just the way that this film is is offered to the viewer. Um, it's just it's such with you know good intentions here. You know, truly, truly, um, you know, well well intended. Um, this film so much, and um, it offers so much beauty and, and warmth and, and comfort. Um, and I can rest, um, you know, sure that this director um, is in full control, but also, you know, with the best intentions. Um, this is not a film uh, that feels in any way, um, you know, kind of a product at all. It's just one of these films that is truly, truly human and uh, is only there to say something about humanity and offer us um, a wonderful story um, and, and something that can, can speak to us and, um, you know, we can find stuff in this film um, that we, we, we connect to um, on such a level and um, I am so um, you know in awe of this the Shyamalan does this um, throughout many of his films and uh, I just think this film um, is truly truly uh, wonderful um, in its warmth and its heart and um, the level of humanity is just absolutely staggering um, this truly is um, a wonderful wonderful film and uh, yes just these relationships and uh, the way it shows how how um, you know people can can have hope and uh, you know just how, the way that people can help each other out and uh, this is more you know never more present uh, than when you know the ending comes into play the final act plays out and uh, we see multiple characters um, you know kind of move on and uh, you know feel feel at ease. Combine that with the James Newton Howard score, um, you know it's not even his best score. Um, I feel. The Unbreakable one's probably better, and um, The Village as well, um, but I think this is just like these top ones, and even Signs, um, you know, it's just some of the very, very best scores um, in cinema, and um, the way it's used throughout the film, um, it's just, it's always to heighten the emotions, um, it's always to, to reveal more, and kind of, um, you know, just kind of act um, as, as, as a part of, the, you know, these characters, and what's going on, the mood uh, within a particular scene, um, and it's always kind of just yeah saying stuff about these characters and stuff, and and how um, this this story is getting you know shifted around and uh, the different emotions 
that come into play. It's uh, it's full of melancholy and um, just pure um, beauty, really. And uh, it's just it's, it's it's a genius genius score. Um, I listen to this quite a lot. Um, like the other you know, main uh, Shyamalan films, you know the scores for these ones. Uh, you know the Village, Unbreakable, for example. Um, all these ones are just beautiful stuff. And um, you know this film. It's really, really directed to perfection. Um, I'm not gonna. It's it's hard to compare, you know, this and the way he directed things, you know, with, with the village and stuff. Um, because I think the village is probably his best, uh, you know, in terms of uh, colors, for example, and the way he kind of he moves the camera at times, maybe. Um, you know, just the overall the visual storytelling maybe is just more kind of um, beautiful and everything in that film. Um, and I, I don't think, you know, Unbreakable um, is quite on the level of this village and Science for his overall uh, direction. Um, that's just my opinion. But And, you know, Science is just very, very, you know, as well, it, it's just as good as this, really, for, for um, you know, kind of visual storytelling. But I think um, overall, in terms of the narrative and the way that Shyamalan is telling this story, um, just and to combine that with the characters that he is kind of portraying and, and the themes, I think this is his best um, in that sense. So it's kind of, in that sense, maybe, you know, the direction in, in many ways is, you know, the best. Um, it's just kind of the visual part of that, you know, it, which ties into it, of course. Um, it's just maybe just topped a little bit with, uh, you know, the village and stuff. But, you know, it's certainly um, visually, uh, you know, visual mastery in this film. There is not a single moment uh, where this is just not genius. Um, you know, this is something else. Um, absolutely stunning um, the way that the camera moves. The way you have all these these close-ups and just the way he is trying to, to incorporate all the different techniques that he can um, and his his visual style, um, you know, in a way that is just organically telling the story and uh, revealing you know information to us. Um, you know, one of the best examples of that um, is the the reveal, of course, um, you know, in the centre of the film and uh, I think the way it subtly zooms in to Bruce Willis actually, um, you know, and when you know Cole is is really his secret um, that he sees dead people. Um, that's an example of just the way that Shyamalan is using, uh, you know, visuals to to reveal information um, in particular ways, um, you know, and allow us to to to, to really, uh, you know, respond in different ways um, to particular moments without, you know, kind of uh, necessarily saying it. He is kind of just um, maybe offering this, um, you know, it's, it's subtle at times. This film certainly so, um, and it's not. It's not like his other films in terms of direction too much, um, you know. Even Unbreakable is very, very different. Um, you know, it's very different in its visuals. Um, but this one, for me overall, I think it's just in terms of the the overall the overall direction, the way he's in control um, of this narrative, the consistency of this. Um, I feel it's just a bit stronger for me um, than his other works. Um, and you know, these other works are masterpieces, um, no doubt. But for this one. I think it just takes the edge in that and um, you know certainly my connection to this film as I've said is for me the most emotional um, there is moments in this film that I, I break down into tears um, because it's just so powerful and you know just so beautiful um, I think the way I relate to these characters um, the way of course I cared so much you know about Cole and uh, you know sympathetic character um, what if, you know because you know what a shame that he kind of he, he gets bullied like this um, because he's not in any way, you know, a bad person at all. He's just uh, very innocent, and uh, he doesn't harm anyone. But unfortunately, um, you know, and that's the way he does get bullied. Um, and this is the way this is portrayed is just very, um, you know, it's, it's, it's as sincere as it could as it can get. You know, it's really it's treated with such uh, sincerity, and uh, the way you know it's just so 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 moving. Um, but of course, it's so hopeful. Um, you know, that this character of Malcolm is trying to help him, and uh, I just. Every scene, even when they're just you know walking, um, you know through different locations, and it's just these um, you know these kind of human um, and and you could say, you know just personal conversations they're having, um, and it just puts a smile on my face. Um, it really does comfort me more than most films um, in a particular way. This film, um, I just, I just I am so invested in this relationship uh, between these two characters, um, the warmth of it, you know, the heart of the film, and uh, I just um, I just count this as one of the most unforgettable films um, really it just is an experience uh, like no other and it's not you know as abstract or as, as kind of um, unique in its colours or example you know for example as the village or you know kind of as um, non-linear or anything but it's you know as, as something like 
Unbreakable or Signs. You know, Signs is actually very, very different for a lot, you know, to a lot of films in the way um, the narrative is and the way it's, you know, for example, the one location mainly um, and stuff. But this film, I think, is just, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the actual, as I've said, the consistency of the narrative and uh, the way that I kind of, I just get emotions from this, uh, pure emotions. Uh, I think this is the strongest um, in his filmography. And I just think, um, you know, this, this whole um, this narrative um, for me is just the most satisfying. Um, that's the thing of the Shyamalan films. Um, I think it's just um, you know because these films, some of his films end in different ways. You know, for example, Unbreakable is more of a tragedy. Um, you know, it's kind of just it doesn't necessarily um, you know end in, in a hopeful way kind of thing. Um, although it's it's absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful. Um, Signs, of course, is um, but in a different way to this. Um, the Village, of course, is kind of a you know it's not all. Um, wrapped up in, in different ways and doesn't all kind of come together in a way that you know is, is like this you know this film basically wraps up everything so um you know in such a satisfying ways to me um that that's another reason why i think this is just my favorite um because it's also satisfying this journey we go through this wonderful wonderful journey uh this spiritual film um it all comes together in the end um course it's a tragedy it real 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 tragedy here um you know with malcolm um you know the, the fact that he he was dead this whole time um and of course he he didn't realize it um that's something very very sad about that but it turns into something where you know in the end he can move on and um you know he does he does leave his his wife um but of course he does he does um you know become a become a peace you know kind of thing and it's a one where he helps out, you know, this this, uh, this troubled uh, kid, and um, you know he is, you know, able to move on and um, you know kind of be be comforted and uh, be at rest in in many ways as well. Um, so it's a film where, you know, it is tragic at times, um, like some of his other films, but it does for me come together so so wonderfully and um, in the way that just satisfies me. I think um, you know there's there's some of his other films, um, you know, for example, Signs. The second half is, you know, is even better than the first by quite a lot. And uh, in terms of the way it kind of satisfies, of course, uh, the village um, is probably the first half in, in many ways. Uh, but this one, and not to say that that's flawed, you know, in them two films, just a pattern. Um, but in this one, um, it's literally constant um, in terms of the, the consistency of the emotions I get from it and uh, just the overall... Uh, the way the story is told, um, it builds and builds and builds. Um, it gets better and better um, to a point where it really comes together in just a mind-blowing way, um, but a really, really wonderful and spiritual way. Um, you know, it's it's um, it's a film that just um, has so much to it. There's a sense of wonder, um, you know, as well to it. There's a sense of charm um, to everything in the film, really, as well. Um, well, it's a very dark film at times. Um, you know, it is. It's kind of counted as a horror film, of course, um, but but I really think it's just such an uplifting experience uh, and a one that is is life changing to me. Um, it's such a, a life affirming, affirming film and uh, one that you just it really moves me so much um, and it comforts me to a level um, and just you know it's it's the most emotional one for me in his filmography and um, it just it really is such a masterpiece. Um, I think the performances are absolutely stunning. Um, I think. The use of music uh, and the score itself, of course, by James Newton Howard, um, you know, it's it's one of the best in cinema for me, um, you know, and that adds, of course, to the emotion of the film. Um, it's certain, certain moments, of course, uh, the Malcolm is dead, uh, the track there, it's just, it's so beautiful and uh, it's overwhelming when it's used in the film. Um, the editing is key here as well. Um, the editing is perfect, um, you know, it's just a genius way, of course, when it, it looks back to two moments in the film, uh, you know, relating to that kind of reveal at the end um, as well. And of course, that whole kind of sequence uh, originally, you know, when Tony Collette and Bruce Willis are sitting um, in the chairs and it has a wide shot. And, and of course, it, it shows um, from a distance. So again, you're not quite seeing the exact um, reaction to Hayley Joel, his character of Cole, um, you know, but it just it makes it look like it, it's something, um, you know, or it could be two different things, um, and you know when that that reveal comes or the reveals um, later on in the film, you look back at this, and you can kind of decipher and look, um, you know, at this in different ways, and uh, it's it's a way that's more suggested um, than the kind of um, you know certain um, at first, but it's just genius uh, the way it kind of edits and it's a few seconds there, for example, um, 
Cole comes in the room and it, it doesn't quite look like, uh, you know, Malcolm, you know, it's a ghost. Um, it looks like they kind of just had a conversation and they're waiting for Cole um, to come in. But you know, it's not of course, and it's just a genius moments like this in the editing and uh, the choice of, um, you know, shots really, you know, how, how far away he puts the camera, um, you know, all of this, the framing, um, that is just absolutely genius. Um, and it may not be quite as obvious um, as, you know, his other films, some of them, um, you know, but it really is just as effective in many ways. And uh, in terms of just revealing, um, you know, stuff about these characters and uh, the overall, in relation to the narrative, I think this is just the strongest, um, as I say, directed film. And, uh, you know, it's just a flawless, flawless film, in my opinion. Um, you know, it has been counted at times among the greatest films. And, um, you know, I, I believe uh, AFI, um, the top 100, it was on that. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I, I'm just guessing that off my memory. Um, and IMDb, it's certainly in the top 250. Um, and just you know, I think this film is definitely one of the best ever made. Um, it really, really is. For me, a magnum opus, um, and it's just it just takes the cake. Um, not that I'm saying it's it's uh, leaps you know le leaps and bounds above the rest of his films, um, all of them. You know, because I do count the Village Signs and Unbreakable was you know some of my top 100 films. Um, but I think it just edges them out. You know, certainly my connection to this film. Um, I think this friendship. Um, it's just so beautiful. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful film um, that just portrays so much, um, you know, and there's so much emotion to it. Um, you know, the themes it explores um, are just truly wonderful. It's kind of a ghost story, uh, a ghost love story, um, where there's not there's not too much um, dialogue, of course, um, involved in that. Of course, he doesn't actually speak, um, you know, throughout the film to his um, his love of um, Anna, um, played by. Olivia Williams and uh, she's absolutely brilliant in this film very hard to pull off um, and of course <clears throat> yes this this um, this is kind of like a silent film uh, at times this film and uh, you could say that about you know the village at times as well and times it's, it's, it's elements he takes um, like great filmmakers from these type of films you know the silent era as well you know they're just the, the visual storytelling um, where he he really is uh, you know creating something genius here and uh, the way it reaches a purity, um, and yeah, so it's it's a ghost love story. It's um, you know a film that deals with bullying and isolation. Um, you know, it deals with how how people can react to society. Um, you know, and uh, you know, anxiety and all these different you know psychological um, you know issues um, perhaps. And um, you know, it's a film where yes, it's a horror film at times, and it is you know kind of. Um, it's got these, these twists. Um, I like to call them reveals, um, but it's not. It's not uh, just that. It's so much more. Um, it's a film that is just, for me, one of the most wonderful films um, in cinema. Uh, there's so much to this film, um, but at the end of the day, it's the purity and uh, the actual, the level of emotions I get from it um, that just makes it so much, um, you know, the, better than than what this could could have been. I think Shyamalan just um, with his films. Yes, they have twists, um, these early ones especially. Um, I don't think Signs does. I don't think Signs is a twist um, really at all. But, you know, the, what they do, um, what he does in this film as well as, you know, The Village and Unbreakable is uh, he makes, you know, it turns the film into something else, or at least develops the film um, into, you know, kind of a tragedy, um, but also kind of just such a layered film. Um, you know, The Village, for example, the twist in that, you know, it's just... It's not to shock or anything like this, really. It's to to deepen and uh, richen, you know, the experience, the overall experience of, of the film. And um, you know, for example, in that film, I'm not going to say exactly what happens there, but you know, the, the way that that kind of changes everything. And um, yes, it's not, it's not this, um, you know, that film when you find out something really, but it is. It's more than that. It, it's this, you know, kind of thing. And that's what the sixth sense is. Um, it's not just a, a horror film. You know, where the kid sees ghosts and stuff and you've got this other kind of guy that helps him out, you know, this psychologist, um, it's so much more and it really is one of the most genius, genius films in cinema, um, you know, and this has grown on me more and more and more. Um, of course, instantly loved it, um, but really it just um, become a film where it's at such a high now on my list um, that it has to get the rare, um, the still rare rating um, of 100% plus. Tier S, um, this is for me 
a magnum opus, um, and I'm so glad um, I rewatched this again um, before the ranking um, because I can safely say this is my favourite, um, and I think the feelings I got on the kind of maybe I shouldn't have been hesitant, but, but that's just the case, you know, back in November or December uh, when I originally reviewed the film. Uh, but I think it's just it really has confirmed what I originally felt, you know, and I've kind of been feeling over the years, you know, the past couple of years. That this certainly is my favourite and it does deserve that tier S rating, um, you know, and, you know, I think uh, what I can say in terms of my tier S is, you know, it probably won't ever reach more than 75, 80 films, you know, even a few years from now as I see, you know, so many more classics and everything, um, you know, but, and, you know, it does not diminish the fact um, just because there's, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's more, a couple more films going in there perhaps, it doesn't diminish what I feel about these films, you know, what I give a tier S to is a film that just is life changing. Um, it's just, you know, a cut above um, even just other films in my top 100 um, in terms of my emotional connection to the film or just my love for the film, um, you know, the way that they, they just, you know, represent cinema for me um, or just uh, move me to a point or, you know, enthrall me to a point um, where I care, you know, for example, Indiana Jones, you know, Raiders, of course. And Last Crusade, uh, they're the ones that got that, um, you know, or just other films, uh, you know, just, I'm not going to reveal them, but, you know, other films there, you know, that aren't necessarily tragic films, um, you know, for example, or, or moving films maybe in this way, but, you know, it's just the films that I care about and I enjoy and, uh, you know, just just mean more to me than, than other films. So that's what the TRS is and uh, who cares if there's, you know, it's there's a few more films, um, you know, kind of being added in there, you know, I think it's just what that means in for the individual films and how they kind of uh, you know they move me or enthrall me in many different ways how I'm invested perhaps um, so yes I think absolutely this film uh, deserves a tier S rating and um, you know it really is a film that, that just you know it just means so much to me um, these relationships um, you know not just uh, Malcolm and Cole I think um, Tony Collette is just wonderful in this film um she truly is um you know on, on the top of her game i think this is her best performance um absolutely and she is a brilliant actress so underrated um i really that's a shame but she's very underrated um bruce willis the best he's given given um for me um hayley joel um definitely his best performance um just absolutely wonderful um and, and for me the best m night Shyamalan film uh, absolutely and I think it absolutely deserves the tier S, as I've said. Um, it's a film that moves me beyond most films. Um, there's, there's, you know, I had to look at some of the films um, that maybe a bit, that are in this tier S, and I think, you know, in, in many ways, for example, I, I like it just as much as some of these other films, so I couldn't justify giving it a tier one again. I think it has to has to get in there. Um, you know, this just has mean, meant so much to me over the years um, in my life, and it's just at a height now where it does get in there, and it's just one of my very very favourite films well into my top 75 um, and it's just such a beautiful film the humanity in this the the, the mystical feel it has you know the atmosphere you know it's it's, it's religious but it's more uh, spiritual this film um, and this is something that I look for in films uh, spirituality and he does this um, maybe in, in for some people more of a, a kind of um, uplifting and uh, moving way uh, with signs and I completely understand that and I think I was with them you know then people at one point uh, but actually The Sixth Sense has grown in me a bit more um, than these other films over the years um, while they're always revealing more I think this one um, is just my favourite um, and I can safely say that I think this is it for me and uh, that's not just kind of a, a thing you know because I don't think the others are Great films. I think this is very, it is kind of close in ways, but but this one just edges it out for me. Um, it's just a wonderful experience. Um, one of the most powerful films I've ever seen. Um, this relationship between Cole and Malcolm uh, is beautiful. It's so moving and warm, and um, it's so sad when you see them part ways at the end. You know, he, he says uh, we'll pretend that we will see each other again, um, but of course, um, it's pretty pretty uh, you know certain that they won't. Um, but it, so it's kind of this bittersweet kind of feeling, but it's just the way it's done is so beautiful. So it's kind of, um, it's just, it's not, you know, wholly sad. Um, it's beautiful, this film, and uh, this relationship between Tony Collette's character of Lynn and, uh, and Cole is just beautiful as well. Um, it's the way that it's explored. Such, um, you know, purity there and, and uh, sincerity. And uh, it's just, it's so uplifting, this film. It really, really is. And it just, 
achieves such a height um, spiritually, it elevates to such a level um, the way you know things are revealed to us and things aren't quite revealed um, in particular ways through through framing, um, just through this through these devices, um, you know, but they never feel like they're gimmicks at all. Um, the twist is certainly not, you know, I wouldn't call it a twist at all, you know, because I think, you know, it's, it's more inclined to, you know, reveal, I think, about these these characters and, and this narrative. I think that's the best way to put it. And, um, you know, it's just one of the best told, uh, you know, stories in film. I think the narrative is just um, absolutely genius um, and it's, it's wonderful. It really is, um, you know, I think... This is one of the warmest films for me, you know, for, for one of the, the warmest uh, directors. I think Shyamalan gets too much hate, you know. I really think uh, this guy uh, is a genius and he's had his kind of, um, his films that don't quite work as well and he's admitted that, but, you know, I think for the, for the amount of, of beauty he's brought to cinema, um, you know, especially with these sort of films, um, I just think it's a real shame, but, you know, not to dwell on that, I think um, everyone has their own opinions and uh, you know what's important is just I'm expressing my thoughts on the film um, you know and it's just I am so thankful to Shyamalan um, I, I hope um, you know to see more and more films from him and uh, yes yeah, just I always look forward to them um, I'm always grateful for, for the films he makes and uh, just you know cherish the ones I love um, including this and yes um, a magnum opus for me you know not much more to say um, although Maybe I'll do some more talks on Shyamalan films in the future. Um, other than the ranking, um, I might do, I might do some um, some of his, you know, maybe a ranking of his best characters. Um, who knows? I think that's definitely something I've been thinking on, um, you know, over time. But but yes, for now, um, I say this film, The Sixth Sense, um, is probably the the second best film for me of 1999 as well. Um, actually, um, just behind. A particular film that I review maybe quite soon, um, but, but this film um, is just one of the very very best in cinema. Um, the the level of humanity, um, the spiritual nature it has, uh, the warmth um, of all these relationships. Such a personal film, um, but it has a massive scope. It feels epic. It feels, you know, one, like one of the most uh, unforgettable journeys, um, you know, emotionally, in cinema. Um, it's an absolute magnum opus for me. In my opinion, um, the way I connect to the film, um, the way it has a mystical feeling, um, you know, and the way it's a wonderful ghost story um, that's at times disturbing, of course, and um, you know, quite, quite tragic, um, but it's it's purely uplifting as well, and um, it reach reaches such a height um, for me spiritually and uh, emotionally that it just is definitely um, for me the finest Chamberlain film, um, and just. An absolutely wonderful piece of cinema um, that means so much to me and um, you know it really is a wonderful film that, that just moves me beyond most it brings me to tears it makes me laugh it makes me just you know it's nostalgic um, the way it portrays um, your childhood and, and school um, well also dealing with the, the dark um, you know matters and issues of, of this um, and you know the bullying um, it's just it's so it's so powerfully done um, the way this is uh, this is told, um, and it's just it's something that is it's truly hopeful, and it, you know it says something about life um, so powerfully, so wonderfully, um, all leading up to one of the greatest um, final sequences in cinema, ending of course um, you know with the fade out of Bruce Willis, you know his his character that that look on his face brings me to tears, you know in the end it just beautiful this film is so so beautiful wonderful film and i applaud and i'm so grateful um to this wonderful gift um from Shyamalan. um you know just a genius and a wonderful individual so yes um that's my opinion on the film uh, once again um and uh yes yeah, just just my favorite um for sure and uh, one of my very very favorite films um one of my most loved films and it means so much and yes um thanks for watching of course um so the ranking of course will come you know, within a few a few weeks, uh, certainly around a month from now, um, it'll be up. I look forward to that, and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, um, you know, on this review, and uh, your thoughts on the film, and Shyamalan films in general, uh, maybe some rankings um, would be great, and uh, yes, as always, thanks for watching my review.